so far we have two people in our table Anne, so right here and also jake in this video let's go ahead and add a thousand more people in our table and also add a column called country of birth so in order for us to add a thousand more people into our table we're going to use this website called mockaroo so this is simply a data generator and basically we can generate data in various formats so right here you can see that we can select our fields and basically you can then select the types and have some options so for our table person we going to exclude the actual ID because this is managed by the sequence for us so we have first name last name and then gender and we don't actually uh, have the IP address and let's go ahead and add the date and then of and then birth and this will be date so if you select on the type and then simply search for date and right here we can actually specify the format so year month and day and let's also configure the actual email so let's say that 30 percent of them will be null so we want to have some people in our table with nullable email addresses and 70 percent of them will actually have an email and finally what we need to do is add another field so let's actually call this country of birth and instead of date let's go ahead and pick I think we can be country so there we go country and I think this is good for now so now you can see that we can generate a thousand rows and basically if you want more than a thousand you can keep on downloading a thousand each time or you can actually sign up and then you can generate more than a thousand rows so a thousand for us is fine for this course and the format go ahead and change that to SQL but you can see that they have XML Firebase Cassandra JSON so on and so forth so go ahead and pick SQL and then the actual table name so let's actually change this to person and what we're going to do is actually include the create table now go ahead and preview and you can see that the data contains a bunch of random people some with email and others without email and if you click on the sql you can see that we have a bunch of inserts and right here we have the actual create table so you've learned this in the previous videos so now let's go ahead and close out of that and then simply download the data i want to download there we go so now we have this person.sql and to open this file I'm going to be using VS Code. So VS Code for me is the best IDE out there for working with SQL files and pretty much like with web development as well. So this is the one to go. But if I'm doing like more backend server side work, then I use IntelliJ. So you can use VS Code or Atom. So Atom is actually good as well. Atom. Or you can use sublime so go ahead and pick your favorite IDE but for this course I'm going to be using VS code so I'm going to open that file with VS code so I'm going to open VS code and then file and then open and then inside of downloads this is my person.sql and there we go so now you can see that we have the create table so you've learned about this and also you learned how to insert into tables so insert into person first name last name email gender date of birth and also our new column called country of birth and then you can see all the values so there is one change that we have to do and that is to make these fields nullables so i'm going to select those commas right there and then I'm going to say not and then no apart from the actual email remember the email is nullable and also let's go ahead and increase the actual size of the email so let's say 100 or actually 150 and then the gender should be actually 7 and country of birth I think 50 should be fine so I'm going to save this 
Now we could actually grab everything, so copy and paste into our terminal and then execute all of these statements. But what we're going to do is something much more clever than that. So go back to your terminal or command line. And basically, if you press backslash and then and then question mark, you can see that if I go a bit down, so you can see right here in the input and output section, we have this command right here, backslash I, and then you specify the actual file. So this executes commands from a file. Now I'm going to come out of that and then open up a new shell. And if I make this bigger, so what you need to do is to actually navigate to your downloads or or whatever you save the file. So I'm going to navigate to documents or oh, actually it was downloads. So downloads, there we go. And now if I do an LA, you can see that we have person.sql right here. And to get the actual path, I simply have to type PWD and you can see that the path is users Amigos code and then download. So I'm going to grab all of that. So command C, go back, go back to my main shell. And now we can go ahead and execute that file. So let's go ahead and press backslash and then I, and then paste the actual file destination forward slash and then person dot SQL. If I now press enter, you see that we get errors. And the error is that the country of birth of relation person does not exist. And that's correct. So if I clear the screen and then do a backslash and then D and then person, you can see that we don't have the country of birth column right here. So let's go ahead and drop this table. That's right drop. And as I've mentioned before, using the drop command, it's not ideal, but because I'm just teaching you how to use new commands, and this is just for illustration purposes, it's absolutely fine. But if you have a production database, do not run this command. So to drop a table, simply say drop and then table, and then the table name, so person. So if I execute this, all the data that we have, which is two students will disappear as well as the actual table. So if I press enter, if I press backslash D, you see that did not find any relations. So I'm going to clear the screen and now press up a couple of times and we're going to execute the same command. So backslash I, the destination to the actual file, and then the file, so person.sql. If I press enter now, and you can see that we have a bunch of inserts and everything worked as expected. Now, if I clear the screen and then type select and then start from and then person, semicolon, and then enter, and there we go. So you can see that now if I make this smaller, so full screen there, you can see that now we have a bunch of random data. But there is one thing that we forgot and that then that's the actual ID. So let's actually fix that. Q and then go back to the actual person.sql and to fix it is very easy. So let's simply add ID and this will be a big serial. So we had a big serial and this was not and then null and it was also the primary and then key. So now if I save this, remember, we don't have to add it here because the big serial will manage that for us with a sequence. So what we need to do is actually go back to iterm. So let's again, drop the table. So drop table and then person. There you go. And now let's run the same command. So backslash I and then the file enter. There we go. So that worked. If I clear the screen and then select all from person, enter, and there we go. So now we have our ID back and we have a bunch of people into this new table. There we go. So I just wanted to show you how to drop tables and pretty much just add a new column called country of birth to use it for selection purposes. This is all for now. If you have any questions on what we did here, drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video.
See ya.